Good afternoon, Bikes. There's only a few weeks of school left. Today we have a story about National Gun Violence Day on April 20th. I'm Kara. And I'm Addison, and your news starts now. Did you know April 20th was National Gun Violence Awareness Day? Yes, I did, but I don't know much about it. Well, let's go learn more about it. Friday, April 20th is National Day of Action to Prevent Gun Violence Day. This day is significant because it is also the 19th anniversary of the Columbine High School shooting. Columbine High had a school shooting on April 20th, 1999. They dedicate this day to the 13 students that died and the 24th that got injured. Students at Seaman High took control and spoke their opinions at past school shooting protests. I last protested at the Capitol and this was for the March for Our Lives. Basically, I protested for more regulations on guns and just the way guns are handled in schools. As a freshman, you never really get to voice your opinion on things. And so going there and seeing all these teenagers around our age was absolutely incredible. Um, just knowing that this is where our world is going with these teenagers who are going to make a change. A recent poll taken by SurveyMonkey showed us that teens agree with most adults about how gun control laws should be changed. The message I was trying to get across going to the march um, was basically just that our government needs to make, or need, our government needs to have some reforms for our gun laws and that um, I believe that assault style ARs should not be sold to civilians um, and we believe that we do not need to arm teachers and we were just trying to get, there's a lot of people who all have the same personal beliefs as us and we were all rallying together trying to get our point across. Teenagers are hoping to change the laws for guns so there will not be another Columbine, Sandy Hook or Parkland shooting. Speaking of gun violences, we have a story about s school safety. Let's go learn more about it. Greetings, there has been many questions about school safety. We caught up with Officer McKay and Monahan to learn more about our school safety. A lot of that stuff doesn't happen during the school day, so they should report that to law enforcement, whether it be the Topeka Police Department, the Shawnee County Sheriff's Office. Uh, obviously, another thing, they, they really need to let their parents know too, because a lot of times they don't want to let their parents know. Uh, their parents need to be in the loop on that. If you're being bullied or harassed during school, make sure you report it. I mean, if it's at school, definitely let a teacher, school counselor, administration, or you can let us in security know. And, and the school, you know, if it's happening here on school, the school administration will actually look into it. There has been several threats made involving Seaman High School. Well, last time this happened was right after our SEAF banquet, and there was an online post that said SHS, and people were concerned, so we had a lot of uh, parents and also students and members of the community contact us and inquire, is it safe? What's going on? And so we got Shawnee County involved and they determined that this post came from a student uh, in Ohio. Um, but there's a lot of um, schools that have SHS as initials, so many schools across the country were concerned. But in this particular case, uh, Shawnee County got involved and they vetted everything out and made certain um, that it was not that we were not in any jeopardy here. Line and post it. Make and sure to report if you see anything. Also, make sure to think before condition. posting anything on social media. Um, I think anytime you post something online, you, you should look. Okay, where is it going to go? Is this going to affect somebody? Um, and what could the ramifications be if I? Po now for the rest of your news. Seniors, in order to receive your cap and gown, all fees must be paid and full or arrangements need to be made. See Mrs. Olsman to, in the front office if you need to make payments. Online payments can still be made as well. Congratulations to students who participated in the Highland Art Day field trip. Seaman Art students took home first place in the sidewalk chalk competition. The following students received individual recognition for their work. There will be a mandatory meeting for those students who have signed up for driver's ed tomorrow during seminar. See Mr. Tinsley if you have any questions. Students interested in robotics, there will be an informational meeting tomorrow in N15 during activity period. 
There will be a writing camp this summer on June 6th through the 8th. Applications are online. BP at Hunters Ridge is donating two cents for every gallon of gas sold on pumps seven and eight through the end of the year. Wood Valley is currently accepting applications for summer employment. You must be a high school senior. Fill out an application at Genesis Health Club. Now let's shoot on over to Madison with the sports. This summer, Flint Hills Writing Project is hosting a three-day Words Matter writing camp for high school students interested in developing their skills as a writer. Participating students will explore the importance of documenting their stories. The camp will take place on June 6th to the 8th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Brown vs. Board of Education building. Applications are due on May 4th. Spots are filling up fast, so apply soon. Honey, where's my SGTV? Sports physical done on May 12th at Colin O'Neill. Cost is $20 and $10 of that will be donated back to the school. For more information, stop by the athletic department and pick up a flyer. The track meet was a huge success last Friday night. Congratulations to Dawson Morstorf, Cody Orster, and Mitch Miller who did an outstanding job. With a throw of 169 feet and 11 inches, Mitch is now the number one thrower in the city and number five in the entire state of Kansas. Now we're to care with the weather. What's poppin' Viking fans? It is currently 71 degrees and tonight it will stay about the same with some cloud cover. And now for your three day forecast, you have highs in the 80s and lows in the 60s and it's gonna be pretty nice, but you better watch out for that lightning bolt you see on the screen because that probably means there's gonna be some thunderstorms. And today in history, it is Tim McGraw's birthday and it's National <laughs> Principals Day. Now let's have Head back over to your anchors. Thanks for listening, Viking fans. Have a great rest of your day. Just